morning now. But apple, apple. But apple. But apple. Morning now. Ola has a trip today. School trip. <laughs> so school run this morning, followed by another office day, and another wet and windy one here in the UK. So yesterday's question about custom fitting, lots of you getting custom fit, good to see, some of you not, some with good, some with bad, so you're normal kind of mixed, kind of mixed bag of normal ideas really, which is what I would expect. So today's question, should we do a bit of US Open picking? Who's your pick for the US Open? Starts next week, is it? And Rory is playing. <laughs> I don't know who my pick is yet, let's hear who your picks are. Looking forward to your school trip, Ola? Yeah! What are you going to see in your school trip? Lots of trains! Cool! And we're going to eat our lunch on the train. Yeah, I've heard that, that sounds fun. So today's swing, we're going to talk a little bit about trying to get this lead left arm more kind of turning upwards rather than so cross body with shoulders flattening, which for this player, common for lots of players, causes this kind of big heave over on the downswing with his body. So it's kind of an around movement on the backswing. And then as he starts down, he's kind of trying to reassess and jump back down into it. So it's kind of like a round and then this way, isn't it? Um, definitely going to struggle with a few path issues with this kind of movement. It's a common one. And it's often a common one with people with his physique. So he looks quite big in his upper body and arms. Um, we're going to try and get him to maybe understand how to use that in a slightly different way. All right, coach. Oh, ho, ho. Sir, good sir, what do we have there? Right, first idea is going to try and get your back swing, lead arm, left arm, moving in a very different way to the way it's moving now. So I've just got a sandwich here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the grip under my left armpit and run the club down my left arm. Now I'm going to pinch the top of the club like I would kind of hold a pen or a pencil. Now in this reflection I can see myself on my door here. What I'm going to do, just with my left hand on the club, right hand can go behind your uh, back. I'm going to try and keep the head of the club inside my body line. So it's not going behind me and it's not out in front of me as I make my back swing. And this is going to make me feel like, compared to what you do, like your arm is going up more rather than round because your backswing, you're wanting to get your hands behind you, then obviously in turn the club goes way behind you. So you want to go this way, this way. I want you to feel like that club is going more up in the air. I feel very strange and quite a different path for you. Now what you do, a few of these in the reflection just to get the feel of the direction it's going. You can not watch, then watch. Just slide the club down into your hands. Try and recreate that feeling. I always like you to recreate your feeling as well. Then you feel the difference. Just kind of repeat, repeat, more realistic repeat, and also a where you go action. It's a great way to really show the difference. Get a real kind of noticeable feel of difference between those two moves. If we can get your arm going more this way, so up on the way back. We've got a better chance of getting a little bit of shaft drop on the way down and maybe help that par. Just keep moving itself in a better place. <laughs> oh, we have a lovely jet black iPhone 7 Plus. Oh my word, you haven't. That is just a lovely. Let's answer your questions. Evening, bro. Question for the daily vlogs about shaping the ball. At what point in a golfer's development would you say that they should learn to actively fade or so my eldest has been on a golf course, what, nine times maybe? Hit balls at the range. As soon as she's hitting the ball, which she is, still inconsistently, still has the old miss, still hits the top, or the toey one, but when she connects it goes well and kind of where she wants it to go. We were playing the other day and she was had to hit it under some trees, she had no idea what to do. So I showed her, straight away. 
So for me, shaping the ball, high, low, left, right, it needs to happen straight away if you're going on the course, because they're skills that you need for you to get lower. I just think so many people forget that because they're so busy trying to learn correct. And there's so many videos and instruction has kind of been trying to teach you correct for so long, I think, and hopefully some of the stuff I'm doing is letting you see that maybe some good instructors are out there trying to get you to learn how to control the ball as well as hit positions and ideas of better movements. So I wouldn't base it on a number. So on a handicap number, I would base it on the fact that if you're already getting the ball up in the air and you're connecting and you're getting out on the course, these are skills you're going to need. So you have my permission to start right now. Mm, yes, yeah, a double, a dual, something or other, isn't it? What a treat. All oh, very embarrassing, isn't it? <laughs> it is. It's very awkward. <laughs> very awkward, really, to be honest. Oh, hello. Um, oh, hello. <laughs> Right, the next idea is going to help you with a downswing. Going to use my door frame. You probably can't see me that well in here. So I'm going to put my heels basically on line and in line with the door frame. And I'm stood about that far away from it. Now I'm going to put the club outside the door frame. I feel like I get into my downswing position, so hips trying to open. I feel like I'm trying to open my shoulders up to where target would be, but at the same time just letting that club come down inside of that frame. Obviously you want to go more this way. This is a great way to get the feeling of that lay down of that club. You can then try and step away if you can. Same movements without the door frame. Put it back in there. Feel that club laying down as you try to get your body rotating on that downswing. So the shorts were good even on this windy day. Yeah, but it's not raining. Yes, the shorts are perfect, aren't they? How were the trains, Orla? Yeah. Did you go on a train? Yes. Yeah. Oh, look. There's the eldest. And I'm it. Right, there you go. Another family action packed day. So the sausages are mash and vegetable that I bought two days ago. I'm actually having tonight because we had tips from it last night. I can't believe how windy it is out there still. Well, I need to believe it because it is that windy. See you tomorrow. Remember to thumbs up the videos as always. If you like in the daily vlogs, hit that subscribe button as well. See you tomorrow. I'm on the course tomorrow and if it's this windy, yeah, that's gonna be interesting. Yeah. Is it not? Ooh! I better just get my sim out and start loading her up, yeah. I, really? Yeah.